Hello fine people, it's Harry from Parlis Racing here, looking at head for the guys at welovebetting.co.uk. We're going to be looking at a couple of the Group 1 races on Saturday. We've got the Haydock Sprint Cup and also the Irish Champion Stakes. And let's waste no time because we've got a lot of runners to get through in the former contest, that's for sure. Um, and let's start by just... Uh, Talking about the weather, really, because it's supposed to rain uh, all of Friday and Saturday, so I think we've got to assume it's going to be good to soft ground come Saturday afternoon, um, and that's what this analysis is, is really based upon. So the Haydock uh, Sprint Cup, won by four three-year-olds in the last ten years, which is quite an interesting stat. It's certainly getting to that stage of the season where the three-year-olds can hold their own against the older horses more and more, but obviously that's got to be coupled with being a classy animal and having the form in the first place. Um, so let's start with Garswood, who is a three-year-old indeed, ridden by Ryan Moore, which I think is actually affecting his price a little bit today. You don't often see Ryan Moore teaming up with Richard Farhey. Uh, this horse does look better on softer ground, so that will suit, but whether the six furlongs will suit, I'm not so sure. We're giving him a swerve. Gordon Lord Byron, uh, good efforts at the top level. I think he's just shy of it myself in terms of winning a race, um, uh, even though the soft conditions will suit. Um, he was close second in this last year on firm ground, but uh, looking back at that race, I don't think it was much of a contest really. I don't think beyond the first, uh, beyond the winner really, uh, I think there was much of a muchness in behind there. So Gordon Lord Byron, we will swerve this time. Only won a Group Three last time out by the narrowest margins, so nothing, uh, nothing to suggest he can, he can scoot up here. Uh, here at is interesting for Willie Haggis. Um, this horse is. A, Probably shy of top class as well, based on what we've seen, but there's still time. It was only beaten a quarter of a length by the non-thought winner, Jawala, so if you take that form literally, you'd say Hirat's got a good chance here, but uh, I'm not taking it too literally, that form. I think Jawala's improved uh, since that run, and also the drop back to five helped. But it should run well, Hirat, and 16 to one's a fair price if you do fancy it. Kings get native, uh, firmer ground suits there, so I think we can discount him based on that, even though he does like Haydock. Um, Stewart's Cup winner Rex Imperator should run well, absolutely. It's got uh, enjoys softer ground um, and isn't without a chance. 16 to 1 looks reasonably fair on him as well. Slade Power, I'd give a swerve based on the ground. I think um, I think firmer conditions suit Slade Power better. Um, 8 to 1, it's a little bit skinny on him. Swift Spirit, another one where I think the softer ground is a wee bit of a concern. Um, I think, you know, this horse may well be versatile and go on it, but. I would much prefer to be seeing firmer ground if I was backing Swiss Spirit, uh, but that horse has definitely got more to give in the future, so I want to keep an eye on. I think oops, phone malfunction. I think the Clive Cox holds all the aces in this race. I think both of his horses are very, very, very strong contenders. Lethal Force won two Group Ones already this season, both on firmer ground though, so a little bit of a question mark there. Adam Kirby rides, so it looks the stable first string. Um, but the one I like is the stable weight Reckless Abandon. This horse has got bags and bags of speed, um, and I think is more versatile on the ground than Lethal Force. We will obviously see come Saturday afternoon, but around 6 to 1, 13 to 2, I think Reckless Abandon looks a fair each way bet to certainly give his stable mate Lethal Force a real, real good race. We will see, but yeah, six to one, reckless abandon would be my selection in the Haydock Spring Cup. Onto the Champion Stakes, the Irish Champion Stakes at Leopardstown. Aidan O'Brien wants. This isn't going well. Aidan O'Brien won six of the last ten renewals of this race um, and has two runners this year. The top three from the Jumble International reappose in this race: Declaration Award, Trading Level Leather, and Al Kazim. You've also got the top class filly, the Fugue. I personally think she's better at a mile and a half, and she's already been slammed twice by Al Kazim this year, so I would swerve the Fugue at pretty short odds, actually, a three to one. Kings Barnes and Parish Hall are both interesting, both top class two year olds, but had long, long injury breaks and have come back, and you can't be taking a chance on them, really, um, especially not at the short odds, shortish odds, relatively to what they've actually achieved so far as older horses. It's a tough old race to call, it really is, it's a classy, classy contest, seven horses could win it, but I would probably side with Declaration of War or al -Kazim. I won't be able to bet in it, I will be watching it with great interest, it's a cracking race, so enjoy it. Best of luck on Saturday.